Well, with an abundance of spaghetti squash available this time of year, I thought, why not try it in an air fryer? So stay tuned, I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to my channel, everybody. And today, we're gonna do spaghetti squash in an air fryer. You know, I figured, why not? I haven't done spaghetti squash in an air fryer yet. I was driving by my local farmer stand yesterday. I saw all these spaghetti squashes out. And I said, yeah, let me try this out. So I took a couple home. I actually prepared one last night. It was super simple, super easy, and it came out absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you today. So, spaghetti squash. Let's go ahead and prep it. All we're gonna do is take the ends off first. Be very careful, because these are a little, a little hard to deal with. Take the ends off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and split this right down the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of rock the knife back and forth to get this to split open. And if it's not perfectly even, don't worry about it, it doesn't matter. And I'm having a little bit of difficulty with this one. There we go. So there we go, we're split in half. Now, let me give you one little hint. Spaghetti squash. The actual strands of the spaghetti squash kind of go around like this. So if you want longer strands, you could cut it in the middle instead of lengthwise and you would scoop it out from the sides and you'd have longer strands. Now, since I'm just gonna be doing a side dish today, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as is. So now, scoop out the middle, get all these seeds out of here. <clears throat> I mean, it's not hard, almost like taking the seeds out of a pumpkin. And don't throw them away. You can go ahead and roast those seeds like you would pumpkin seeds. Now, before I move on any further, we need to go ahead and preheat the air fryer. So what I'm gonna do, turn this on, air fry. So what I'm gonna set this for, I've got it set for 25 minutes at 375. We'll get it started, it will go ahead and preheat. But it's beeping at me right now. All right, now let's season this up. Very simple, olive oil. Put about, you know, about a tablespoon of olive oil in each half. Then I'm going to take my brush and just brush that around. Get the sides, get the tops, or the edges. Get that nicely coated. There we go. Easy as that. Get that thrown over there. I'm just going to go in with salt and pepper. Some nicely fresh cracked pepper. And I'm going with some salt. Some nice pink Himalaya. And there we go. Now if you want to throw some garlic powder in there, by all means, go ahead and do that. And the other seasonings that you may that you may like. Today I'm just I'm just doing salt, pepper, and I'm going to finish this off with a little grated asiago cheese at the end. So kind of just treating this as a side dish. So we've got a few more minutes before this is uh, preheated. And once it's preheated, we'll go ahead and pop these in. And then 25 minutes later, we should have perfectly cooked spaghetti squash. Okay, the air fryer is summoning me. It's time to put these in. Pull the basket, and I should be able to fit both of these in here. And that I can. Now we're putting these in top side up. So most of the time, if you're doing these in the oven, you would put them face down, not in the air fryer. Okay, and it goes. So in 25 minutes, we should have perfectly cooked spaghetti squash from the air fryer. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. So we're back here for a few minutes and let's take care of a little business while we're uh, waiting for this to cook. So this episode shout out is dedicated to all those current and former Navy cooks out there trying to run your own YouTube channels. I've seen a few of you out there and I'm really proud to see that uh, you're out there and giving it a good try like I am and uh, you know sharing 
all your creativity with everybody. So uh, best of luck to you all. And uh, hey, this shout out is to you. Also, hey, if you like our videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, most importantly, share. So that takes care of the business for right now. We've got about another 22 minutes to go, so we'll, we'll uh, check back here. Um, and uh, I can't wait. It's smelling good right now. Okay, so we have about uh, two and a half minutes remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and give a little check first before we go any further. And wow, they're looking really good. Um, I'm going to let them go ahead, finish out the two minutes, and uh, then we'll go ahead and pull them. Okay, we're back. And these spaghetti squashes are done. They smell fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and shred up one of these or prepare one of these and uh, then we'll give it a taste. So it's very, I mean, look at this. It's just pulling, a, pulling apart nicely. Oh my goodness. This is great. There we go. Let's pull this down. Look at these nice strands, spaghetti like. Now this isn't spaghetti, or right? I don't know why. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like spaghetti. It don't taste like spaghetti. It don't feel like spaghetti. But it's darn good. I wouldn't do spaghetti with clams with it. I may put a meatball on there, a little sauce. But there we go. It's looking really good. Now, you could serve them like this right on the plate. I did last night. I am going to go in a little bit of asiago. You could use a pecorino romano. You could go in with some parmesan. I like I like uh, the asiago. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a nice little grate here if I can hold this steady. You could put a little nava butter on here. But, you know, I put the olive oil on it earlier. And since I'm putting cheese on it as well, I really don't feel the need for any butter right now. So there we go. <laughs> The cheese itself smells pretty darn good. There we go. Let's just put that over there. You could mix this in a little bit if you wanted to. Let that cheese melt down a little bit. Um, <laughs> here we go. I mean, this smells so good. It's going to be a little hot, but it smells so good. And uh, let's give this a try. Spaghetti squash done in the air fryer. Hey, and think about this. Normally, if you're cooking this in the oven, you're cooking it for at least 40 to 45 minutes. You gotta preheat the oven, all that. You know, I have natural gas. You know, price of natural gas is going up. If you're only cooking for two, air fryer over here, 25 minutes, my goodness gracious. I mean, you can't beat it. Hmm. Oh my god. Crazy good. Crazy good. Done perfectly. It has, it's a, even a little al dente. So, I mean, wow. You gotta do this. Air fryer. Spaghetti squash. So simple. Especially if you're only cooking for two. Or one. Get it in there. 25 minutes later, you got this. So, hey. If you... There's my ice making over there and making a lot of racket. Hey, um, if you enjoyed this video, like I said earlier, please hit the subscribe button, like, and most importantly, share. So until next time, thanks, and we'll see you.